Hedai, my fellow Italians, and welcome back to Hetafax. Today, we are exploring the African jungle. Let's hope we can find some rare wildlife today. Or some of Hima's rare sketches. Ah, here we have a Pirati-chan. Not many people know it exists, but they could be very aggressive and rather territorial of their brothers. But it is quite an unusual creature. Take a look at these blokes. Here we have a group of drawings that have a sad, sad fate. These are known as mysterious characters that will never be identified. But alas, nature can be rather cruel. Here on this tree, you will find some unusual fruit. These are known as game-only characters. They may look pretty promising, but don't be fooled. One bite of these and your OC fantasies will be severely damaged, which could cause you to lose your sense of pride. Let's journey further to find what we're really looking for. Isaiah Firebrace, take a look at this beauty. Here we are able to observe the honorable presence of a doitsu. You may have heard of the doitsu, but this is quite a rare one. But we must be very cautious. Doitsus are known to be quite aggressive and very territorial. I'm going to have to add this as a new species of doitsu. It seems the doitsu has spotted us. We should probably leave it in peace. Australian noises! Here we can observe a Frenchman consoling his colony after the Great Depression. The poor thing looks absolutely exhausted, but alas, she's nature. Crikey! There it is! Gorgeous! What a beauty! An unidentified drawing for so long, but today I shall give her a name. As you may already tell, we are going over common myths about the African nations and solving a few mini-mysteries here and there as well. I am going to touch on as much as I can about everything remotely related to African characters in Hatalia, except for Seychelles, Cameroon, and the Egypts. With that, let's start! Oh, no, 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 you are not doing that video with that accent. Why not? Because I say so, no one will take us seriously. You don't know that. Yes, I do. Take off the hat. Fine. We all know the game characters Kenya, Botswana, Ghana, Zimbabwe, and Uganda. But there are a few nations that had speaking lines in Gakuin Hatalia that did not get heads. This was Sahara, Guinea Bissau, Kabinda, Ethiopia, and Congo. Ethiopia is male and is picked on by the rest of the class due to being associated with Italy. Uganda is male and Kenya is female, but the rest are rather gender ambiguous. Himaruya said that Libya was also planned to be in the game, but they never showed up. It is also said that he wanted to design Ethiopia and Libya someday, but that was 11 years ago. Now time to look at some perspective characters, or drawings that Hima made that have yet to be identified. First, let's look at this one that everyone thinks is South Africa. In 2011, after posting Cameroon, Himaruya said that he liked South Africa and was thinking about designing him. Later on that year, he came up with this image titled Surakit, or Meerkat. Given the range of meerkats, this nation is either South Africa, Namibia, or Angola. There is a rumor going around that because of this picture, the one in the middle is Zimbabwe, proving that Zimbabwe is female. Himaruya said that these are just generic people, not nations. However, Hima did use Taiwan and South Korea for models for the Asian uniforms. So maybe he did make a cameo in here, but we will never know. But no, this is not confirmed that Zimbabwe is female. And now for something that you probably didn't know was a thing. This picture comes from Lithuania's outsourcing. After the Great Depression, it shows how England and France had colonies that took the burden of the Great Depression off of them. England is seen with Egypt and Seychelles, but France is seen with this mysterious nation. She appears to be female. But who is this character? That, I'm afraid, we will never know. However, we can speculate. Time for a Heta theory! First, let's look at all the French colonies in Africa. Morocco, Algeria, Cote d'Ivoire, Benin, Mali, Guinea, Mauritania, Niger, 
Senegal, Burkina Faso, Togo, Chad, Central African Republic, or back then it was kind of known as Zaire, Gabon, Madagascar, Comoros, and Djibouti. Now take a look at her hair and how she is dressed. Her hair seems to be back in braids or cornrows. According to a map of African hair, Northern Africa actually has hair more similar to Arabs because of the Arab conquest. And that would be something that Himaruya would definitely take advantage of. But since he drew her hair like this, it has to be a country known for that type of hair. We can also see that this colony is exhausted and tired from suffering from the Great Depression. Let's take a look at history and see which African nations really suffered from the Great Depression. A lot of the countries that produced gold and wheat were greatly impacted and rather manipulated and exploited by their colonizers. So that leaves us with Togo, Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, Guinea, Senegal, and Sierra Leone. I personally think it's either Togo or Cote d'Ivoire because those were two nations that were really impacted and exploited by France. However, Seychelles and Egypt are here for some reason and I don't think that Seychelles really had a very significant role in the Great Depression. So I don't know. You take your pick in the comments, but I'm moving on. Now let's look at one of the biggest African controversies in Hitalia, the mystery girl with Seychelles. In the 8th comic diary, we are introduced to this girl who stays at Seychelles house on vacation. This is what we do know. This girl is not Madagascar, because we see Seychelles talking to her about Madagascar in the third person, and she replies with, what is that? It sounds like fun. She is a nation because she is too friendly with Seychelles to be a human. And even if she was a human, we could still find out what nation she was from. This comic was made in May of 2013, so we need to take that into consideration. Now let's take a look at the comic and see what we can speculate. Her reaction to the sight of the ocean. Judging from how surprised and in awe this character is at the sight of the ocean, we can conclude that this character does not live by the ocean or does not see it often, meaning that she is either landlocked or does not have much sea coast, which leaves us with this beginning list of Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, Chad, Central African Republic, South Sudan, Zambia, Swaziland, Lesotho, Western Sahara, Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, and Malawi. She asks Seychelles how much of her juice that she has been drinking, showing that this country is known for producing juice or some kind of specialty juice. A big telling feature about this character is the litter. The comic shows the girl just throwing her trash on the ground when she's done, prompting Seychelles to scold her. There are many African countries with garbage problems, and there are many that are very notorious for it. So this will help narrow our list down a lot. Her surprise at tourism also tells a lot. This country is surprised at the amount of tourism that Seychelles gets. Being landlocked, it would be understandable that tourism is uncommon. This evidence I'm going to set aside because I have a feeling that Hema may not all be that accurate with African hair, but this character having straight hair may indicate that she is from North Africa, where there is Arab influence in genetics. And lastly, this character is shown that they may have a grudge against England and France, or may possibly speak English or French. Perhaps this is implying that they were a French or British colony, but I may disregard this because it is rather vague. With all the information I have, these countries are the ones I have narrowed it down to. Niger, Lesotho, Burkina Faso, Mali, Malawi, and Burundi. But let's go through all of these one more time. Niger is landlocked. It is dry and does not get much water. They are in Northern Africa, so it is more likely that their hair would be straight like this. They were once a French colony. They do not have much tourism at all. It is said that their national bird is the plastic bag because there are so much trash there. 
but it is mostly Muslim, meaning that she probably would not be able to dress like this. And Niger is not known for any type of specialty juice because it's dry and you can't really produce any crops there, so I am going to rule this out. But Niger does grow baobab trees, meaning that they could produce baobab juice, which is a juice that is rising in popularity as of lately. So maybe I shouldn't rule out Niger in total. Next is Lesotho. Lesotho is enclaved in South Africa. It only implemented environmental laws in 2015, which is after this comic took place, and they were once colonized by England, but broke off from South Africa during the apartheid. They have a lot of fruit juice companies, but they are not very well known for tourism. But there is one thing that makes me sure that this is not Lesotho, and that is the hair. Why would someone who is proud of their heritage, proud of their African heritage, straighten their hair like this? There is no way Lesotho would do something like that. So I am going to cross Lesotho off the list. Next is Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is known for its dry deserts and often suffers from droughts. It is 60% Muslim. However, some women there do have modern clothes and Burkina Faso is not under Sharia law. It was a French colony. It is in the north, so they are much more likely to have silky hair. There is not much tourism in Burkina Faso and Burkina Faso is very well known for its juices such as zumkum, palm wine, and, again, baobab juice. Next would be Mali. Mali is also known for its dry deserts and suffers from droughts, has the partially Arab hair, it was a French colony. The only thing that Mali has for fame is Timbuktu, but other than that, there's not much tourism. However, in 2012, Mali implemented Sharia law, meaning that she would not be able to wear the things she wears or act the way she acts in this comic. However, before 2012, Mali was known to be a very tolerant country of other religions. Since the majority of the population is Muslim, however, not many drink alcohol, and as a result, there is a variety of different juices. Before 2015, where they reformed their trash laws, there was trash everywhere. Next is Malawi. Malawi is said to be known to be accustomed to dropping trash. They were once an English colony, however, they are a pretty place known for tourism. And I don't see how someone who sees this every day would be excited by the ocean. Lake Malawi is a great tourist attraction, so I'm going to rule Malawi off the list. Another country is Burundi. Burundi was colonized by Germany and then by Belgium. And now Burundi is unsafe to visit, so it would be understandable why there are no tourists. But Burundi is also known for producing passion fruit juice. But so is Seychelles. So why would Seychelles import passion fruit juice if she could just make it herself? So Burundi is going to be ruled off the list. So in conclusion, I predict that this character is one of these three countries, Niger, Burkina Faso, or Mali. However, I am leaning more towards Burkina Faso. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But until then, that was one mark higher on your history test. Thank you for watching Hetafax.